Game date time matchup results TV highlights GM the 1st of October 13 how to NYY1 watch GM the 2nd of October 14 4 p.m. NYY at How Fox GM the 3rd of October 16 8 p.m. How at NYY FS1 Gigameter the 4th of October 17 5 p.m. How at NYY FS1 Gigameter the 5th of October 18 5 p.m. How at NYY FS1 Gigameter the 6th of October 28 p.m. NYY at How FS1 Gigameter the 7th of October 21 8 p.m. NYY at How FS1 I thought our 04 team was a terrific team, and I thought our 05 team was a good team, said former manager Phil Garner, who guided the 04 club to Game 7 of the National League Championship Series and the team's first pennant the following season. I think, top to bottom, all the way around, this 2017 team might be a better team than either of those dress for the ALCS get Astros postseason gear Lance Berkman, an Astros star from 19,992,010, suspects the same. In many ways, this is probably the most talented team the Astros have ever put on the field, he said. Donning the same bright orange jerseys the Astros wore for Game 1 against the Yankees, the group of players from the past playoff teams packed plenty of star power. Jose Cruz and Eno Scabell represented the 1980 Astros, while Hall of Famer Nolan Ryan and Garner represented the 86 club. Two impactful second basemen from the mid-2000s Hall of Famer Craig Biggio and Jeff Kent represented the 04 club, while Berkman and Chris Burke, whose 18th inning home run to end the 05 NL Division Series made him an instant local celebrity, represented the last Astros team to advance as far as the LCS. Astros have done pretty well with second baseman over time. Jeff Kent and Craig Biggio, to name two. Pick.twitter.com Ojiksq2 Heej, Allison Footer at Allison Footer October 13, 2017 Burke, now a college baseball television analyst, was pleasantly surprised to receive the call from the Astros to participate in Friday's festivities. Now a father of four with another on the way he was happy to share the experience with his kids, who weren't born when he provided the heroics in the 2005 postseason. My eight-year-old son can get a feel for the fans in Houston and the environment at Minute Maid Park, Burke said. It's exciting for me to be able to show him and share it with him. For the Astros to invite me back, it's pretty cool all the way around. Bork's most vivid memory of his game-winning homer was meeting his teammates at home plate and realizing that his big hit not only won the game, but won the NLDS. The celebration at the plate is what I remember most, Burke said. Berkman, now the head baseball coach at Second Baptist School, has participated in Astros festivities in the past, but like Burke, he was appreciative that the franchise asked him back for this particular game. It's nice of the organization to reach out and make us feel like a part of this, even though we're not, he said. This is a completely different Astros team. I'm just honored to be back excited to see what's going to happen in this series with the Yankees. A walk down memory lane with Lance Berkman and Chris Burke. Astros playoff teams being honored pregame. Puma picked out Twitter.com 66 Pegcat, Allison Footer at Allison Footer October 13, 2017 Garner, who playfully likes to remind people that he is the only manager in franchise history to guide the Astros to a World Series appearance, said he'll be more than happy to share that distinction. With current skipper AJ Hinch. But Garner, whose Astros were swept in the 2005 Fall Classic by the White Sox, would like Hinch to take it a step further. We've already got somebody that finished second in this deal, Garner said. He could be the guy that finishes first. I'm happy for the team. It's fun, it's exciting and they're fun to watch. This is our year. Allison Footer is a national correspondent for MLB.com. Follow her on Twitter at Allison Footer. This story was not subject to the approval of Major League Baseball or its clubs.